Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veda, if you haven't already been here. Um, and I do makeup shit. <laughs> I need to work on like an actual introduction. I like have no idea what I'm doing here, but welcome. Uh, so I met, I actually have already filmed this video, <laughs> but I hated it and I got a new camera since then. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo it. I wanted to do a first impressions of the Melt Gemini palette this little bad boy however um since I, I i did film that video but i didn't even bother editing it because i hated it so much uh, so i i have since gotten a new camera so i am just gonna do like a real review of it since i've gotten a chance to play with it for the last couple months um i don't i think i made one video in the entire month of october which is quite sad <laughs> Um, but there was just like so much stuff going on in my life and I was like busy every weekend and I, I work a 40 hour a week job So I just did not have a chance to actually like edit anything or do anything over the month of October I did do a bunch of uh, Makeup looks on Instagram. Um, I'll insert a picture of that Anyways, so I have gotten a ch a, um a few chances to try this palette. Um, I've done a bunch of looks on myself. I did a couple looks on other people with this palette. So I think I've gotten a pretty good understanding and idea of like what I like about this palette and what I don't like about this palette. Overall, I think it's wonderful. I think the packaging is beautiful. So yeah, if I were to create a palette, I would do it very similar, similarly. Similarly. <laughs> I do it very similarly to how Melt Cosmetics did this palette. It's very thin, it's very lightweight, it's easy to carry. Um, however, I do have some problems with how they pressed a couple of the pigments. Um, so while all of the shades are wonderfully beautiful, like they're so pretty and I love this color, this color story so much, um, I do have some issues with both of the shimmer colors in here. So Gemini and goals I have a problem with. So I have never had an eyeshadow, an eyeshadow palette like break on me before. Even I've even dropped palettes. I've um, the only things that I've ever like really truly shattered on me have been my Becca Cosmetics highlighters, like this one. I had to like completely repress it. Um, and I, I think I had like a Marc Jacobs. Uh, contour palette that also shattered but this Gemini palette both of the um, both of the shimmer shadows have basically shattered on me um, the Gemini color this pretty peachy one that one completely busted and I had to repress it with alcohol and um, and I didn't even drop this palette so it was just from like being in my travel makeup bag and kind of and it, it wasn't even it was like tight in there too so it wasn't like it was bouncing around um, I just think that the the two shimmer shadows were just so lightly pressed in here that it you know caused a problem with um, traveling. And you can kind of if like you kind of wiggle it, you can kind of hear the the um, the pans kind of shaking around a little bit. So if you don't know how to repe repress eyeshadows, you might have a problem with this palette, especially if you decide to take it traveling with you. Um, other than that, other than that, and I. I guess I just won't travel with this, but having it at home, it's um, it's a beautiful palette and I really enjoy using it. I really love the color story. And I do know how to repress shadows. It's it's a fucking annoying, but it's not like impossible. You know what I mean? Like it's not like a complete deal breaker for me. I just was kind of like disappointed that that was an issue that I ran into with this palette considering I have so many other makeup palettes that I've never run into that problem with, you know? Um, the rest of the shadows, they seem to be pressed in there nice and tightly. I don't have any issues with those starting to fall out. Um, I think I might have a problem with the Bonnie shadow, which is the, the black shade in here. That one looks a little loose, so I'm not sure if it's, it's the packaging or if it's how they press the pigments. Um, but they are, it just seems like a fragile palette. Like I don't think that I could travel with it. So without any further ado, I might as well get into the makeup look I'm going to create for you today. Um, I already have my base done. So I have my foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, highlights, brows, and lipstick already done. 
the lipstick that I used is the CoverGirl Exhibition. I'm still getting used to doing this. I don't know if that's gonna actually. So this is the lipstick that I used. It's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist lipstick in the shade Trending. Yeah, so it's in the shade Trending. Uh, and I really like it. Um, this is probably my favorite uh, drugstore lipstick. Not necessarily just the shade. The shade is beautiful, but this is the first time I'm trying this shade. So, But the, um, the entire Exhibitionist line from CoverGirl I really love. So if you're looking for a cheap drugstore fucking lipstick, that I think these are a great one to pick up. All right, without any further ado, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna start doing my eyeshadow look. I'll zoom you in. I have a new camera now, so I can actually zoom you all. Anyways, so I have already primed my lids with, uh, I use concealer, so I just use the, the Tarte Shape Tape concealer all over my lid and then I set it with powder. Okay, so first I'm going to take the shade Luna with a big fluffy brush. Luna is the light shade at the very end, right there. So I'm gonna take that shade and I'm gonna take a giant fluffy brush. I don't know what this is, but it's from Morphe and it's their big ass fluffy brush. Okay, and I'm just gonna sweep that all over the lid. In big windshield wiper motions. I accidentally just dipped into Lorelei, my bad. <laughs> and again, just gonna dust Luna all over my eyes. I like laying down just a big old base of color all over my lids. I think it helps with blending later down the line. And I am glad that there's a, a shade light enough for me that I can actually do that. This, I do think the shade is a little bit too dark for me, but it works, you know, it does the job. Um, okay, so from there, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I kind of wanted to do like a smoky, like grungy look. So we'll see what I come up with there. Okay. All right, from there I'm gonna take up a, a little fluffy brush, another blending brush, it's smaller than the first one, and I'm gonna pick up the shade Lorelei, which is this mustardy shadow. I think this is my favorite shade in the entire palette. And I'm gonna use this as a transition shade all the way through my lid, or my crease, I should say. So I'm just gonna sweep that through my crease it doesn't really have to be neat. This is just to start the whole look. You feel me? I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do one eye and then y'all, then I'll do the other eye off camera. I'll do what Samantha Ravendahl does. <laughs> So again, I'm just taking that Lorelei shade and I'm just gonna deepen up the crease just a little bit farther with that nice yellow color. And I'm using a very light hand. I'm not going in here very aggressively. I want this to be very soft and light. All right, from there, I'm gonna take a smaller little pencil brush and I'm gonna take the shade Polka Dot right here. Now I do have a problem with these two shades. Like I've noticed every single time that I've used those two shades, I end up having like some blending issues. Like it, it's kind of patchy and I can't blend it out as well. We'll see how it goes today, but overall I think these two shadows are not my favorite. And I wish there was a darker brown in here too. Like, but I can deepen it up with the black, so not a big deal. I'm just gonna dip into that shade Polka Dot, which is the first one, the first brown color. I'm still getting used to this whole YouTube thing, so don't judge me too hard. And I'm just gonna take that on my outer corner in kind of a V shape. And up into my crease. Gonna dip into that again and deepen it up a little further. And I'm just gonna continue to build that color up until I get it about where I want it. And I kind of want it to be kind of dark. I'm gonna bring that in 
to about the outer third of my eye. I'm just gonna sweep it back and forth in my crease. And then I'm gonna take that, that fluffier brush that we used with the Lorelei shade and I'm just going to blend that out. You see, it doesn't blend out very well, in my opinion. Like, I feel like you really have to work for this shade to blend out. You see, you can kind of see how it's a little, like it really stuck to where I placed it down. <laughs> um, from there, I'm just gonna dip in between the Lorelei shade and the polka dot shade. And I'm gonna go back and forth between those, why not between these two? I don't know if you saw any of that, but fuck it. And I'm using a very light hand and using windshield wiper motions. I'm gonna go into that polka dot shade one more time and I'm just gonna bring that underneath the eye. And I'm only gonna go about halfway with this shade. I don't want to be I don't want it to be too dark on the inner corner. I always like to leave this area very light. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into cupcake and I'm probably gonna mix the black in there too. So if, so these two colors I'm gonna dip back and forth between just to deepen this up a little bit. Woo, that's a lot. I should have tapped that off. And I'm just gonna go over where we already placed those, that other color and a little bit underneath my crease. Underneath my eye, not my crease. And this looks like shit right now, but we gonna blend her out. I'm gonna pick up that blending brush again and I'm just gonna lightly sweep over this back and forth in tiny little motions and I'm going to dip into that polka dot shade again and just continue to buff that out I'm going to go and bring that underneath my eye again and just buff that all out I want it to be nice and soft I think I want to go and play with some of the greens. So I'm gonna dip into mochi, is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure how to pronounce that one, but I think it's mochi. It's the one at the very end. Um, just dip it into that, tapping off the excess. Oh my God. So why, okay, I'm gonna zoom you all out. Guys, I, I'm pissed. So I just was tapping the excess off my brush. Like I dipped into this color and I just went like this a couple times on the outside of the palette very lightly. And the entire shade goals fell out of my palette. It fucking fell out of my palette. Do you see that? <laughs> like while I was filming. I'm pissed. I spent like almost $60 on this palette and it's literally falling apart and I've had it for maybe a month. Like, I'm upset, I'm, I'm so infuriated. Like I guess I could just fucking glue this back in but that is infuriating. If you're spending 60 fucking dollars on a makeup palette, like, I would want it to stay apart, for, like to stay together for longer than a fucking month, you know what I mean? And I've already fucking had to, <laughs> I have already had to repress that Gemini palette, that Gemini color, because it like shattered on me and I didn't even drop it. Like you can see all the way around the fucking palette that I had to like repress it. I had to put alcohol in it and like press it back down because it was literally shattered. And now this whole fucking color comes out. Oh, thanks, Mel Cosme. I'm so upset. Dude, I was, okay, so I was so excited to receive this palette in the mail because Raw Beauty Christie was like raving about it, right? Like, 
my dog keeps whining. So I bought it basically because Raw Beauty Christie was just like absolutely raving about it. And the makeup looks that she was doing were just so beautiful. And I was so excited about it. And when I saw that it came on stock, like I immediately went to their website and I purchased it with my own fucking money. And I was so excited. And now that it's just like literally falling apart. Like, watch. <laughs> Why? Why would they do that to me? I know that there's like so many more bigger issues out there, but if I'm gonna like recommend a palette to you guys and you guys like spend your hard earned money and like the palette falls apart within literally a month of you receiving it, like that's just so fucking not worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and like finish up the makeup look that I was doing but I'm gonna start, I'm gonna end this right now and say that I don't recommend you pick the, picking this up just based on my own experience. I think the colors are beautiful. I do have a couple issues with a couple of the pigments, but I just, I can't deal with the fact that this is literally falling apart within the first month of me owning it. And I have not used it that many times. Like, I was really excited to do this review too. Like I have been, this is the first Melt Cosmetics product that I have purchased and I remember back when I first started watching YouTube and wanting to st like a start an actual channel Melt Cosmetics lipsticks and eyeshadows were like everything to me like that's all I wanted to spend my money on and I and I never had money to buy it and now that I finally fucking have money to buy something from Melt Cosmetics it falls apart within the first month like that's just so great I'm really glad that I waited a month to tell you guys how I feel about this palette <sighs> Because I would have been raving about it within the first couple days that I had it and you all probably would have gone out and bought it And now I'm gonna say like please don't waste your money Buy something else. I truly these colors are beautiful and and I haven't seen a single other makeup palette with these colors in it But if it's gonna fall apart and it's not gonna hold up like No, honey mm -mm. Uh -uh. No all right, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish my makeup off camera. I'll come back with my final thoughts. I'm sure you guys already know how I feel about this because I've just been ranting about it for the last couple minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't recommend it. All right, dudes, this is the look I came up with with the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. Is it gorgeous? Absolutely. I love, 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 love how pretty it is. However, how the fuck ever my final thoughts are you should not buy this palette. <laughs> and it breaks my heart to have to say that, but don't buy it. Um, I mean, buy it if you want it, obviously. If you're fine with like it falling apart on you, that's totally cool. However, just the fact that this <laughs> is my life now is just not, I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with the palette falling apart within the first month of me getting it. Are the colors beautiful? Absolutely. Is it fucking unique as hell? Absolutely. Is the packaging beautiful? Fuck yes it is. However, I've already had one shadow like shatter on me and a second one almost shatter on me and then that second shadow that almost shattered on me just fucking fell out of the palette so no i cannot recommend you spend the what let's see how much it costs let's let us google how much this palette costs because i can't remember the exact number gemini palette $58. So I spent $58. Did I get some really unique shadows out of it? Absolutely. Do I want every palette to be shaped like this? Absolutely. Is it perfectly thin? Absolutely. Is it lightweight? Absolutely. However, it's not made well. <laughs> it's absolutely not fucking made well because these pans, they're loose in there. So when I put it in my makeup bag to take it to a job with me, it's like kind of wiggling around. You can kind of hear the um, the pans kind of wiggle in there. It made one of the sh the palette. It made one of the shadows shatter on me, and then ultimately one fell out. Um, and that just sucks for me, dude. Like, 
I'm out 60 bucks. Um, I will probably just glue it back in there. I shouldn't fucking have to do that. If I spend $60 on a goddamn palette, I should not have to. That's more than the, um, than the Urban Decay Naked palettes. And that, when I first started doing makeup, was like my ultimate goal palette. Um, and it just, you know, it really sucks because I came to this, uh, to tr this review thinking that I was going to absolutely love this palette, that I, you know, I was really excited about it. Uh, Raw Beauty Christy like made me really pumped on it and I was really excited about the colors and ultimately I'm very let down and disappointed. And yeah, that's my final thoughts. Uh, if you can't live without it, absolutely buy it. Just be very gentle with it. Don't travel with it. Um, and yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. You can follow me on Instagram. Uh, my username is at Scandinative. And you can also check me out on Facebook. But I basically post the exact same thing on Facebook as I do on Instagram. Um, and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe. Peace out. I just took Samantha Ravendahl's fucking <laughs> outro. I need to come up with my own outro. So for now, see you the fuck later. Goodbye.